hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i'm going to teach us how to design a flyer in less than 20 minutes i'm going to teach us how to design a flyer and i'm going to be showing us a new trick on how to make your flyer stand out from other designers flyer so without wasting our time let's get started okay first you go to your file click on new you pick your size 5 inches by 5 inches resolution 400 then you click on o oh, create then the next thing you're going to do you come to your panel you click on solid color already pick you then this is the number you see and you hit okay or well, you can select any color of your choice though anyone you feel like then the next thing you are going to come to our file filter you come to noise you add noise it then you click ok that's the number one thing you are going to do so the next thing you are going to do you bring your text you type champ c h a m p then it ok then you change it to cap later capital later change the font the font i use is name is what is it commando or champion i think it should be commando yeah commando this is the font the font name is commando i increase it a little like this then it's okay shift it a little bit reduce the spacing in between to seven minus 75 i just leave it as 50. then the next thing you're going to do I'm going to for a brighter color like this a brighter color something like this brighter color yeah it okay let's put it it okay so we'll go to our nation going to do we'll duplicate it then you 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 hold your alt key then you drag it down shift it down you get something like this so we we'll click on this then you what convert it to this then the next thing will now match the two together so oh, click on ctrl t then you right click use key and you now shift the side up a little bit like this you hit ok so the next thing you are going to do you go to your filter you come to your liquefier so you can work you can just play with your liquefy just play with it anything you want i'm just trying to can just can just do anything that you want like this you can just do anything anything you just feel it's work for you so i think i'm teaching us a new thing this morning and this one i'm just trying this is not the actual thing i did yeah. but at the first one okay let's just finish. leave it like this then the next thing we come to our filter uh style lies then you come to your hair paint you copy this stylization six point is and you eat okay to give you this effect then the next you are going to come you come to your blending option you pick on uh, this or add light let's use add light let's use add light add light will be better then we shift it up a little bit so the next thing you are going to do is is and adding a new layer to it then you go to your brush or you press b on your keyboard and select a brighter color like in yellow then you hit just splash anywhere you of your choice you can reduce the brush b i'm, I'm reducing the brush you splash it then you change to add light still add light so you have effect like this you have this effect then you duplicate it still 
So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to group it. Control G, then you change to background like this. So the next thing we are doing is to bring our picture. Sorry, I need our borrow. Let me okay. Let me check if I still have the picture with me. Let me check if I still have the picture with me. Picture New York. Let me design Betty. Okay, I think. Yeah, this is the picture. Let me open it. Yeah, this is the picture. So I'll drag it here. I'll reduce it. Reduce. Like this, reduce. Reduce. Something like this. Still shift it up a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'll come to my filter, come to camera row. Don't worry, I'll be providing all the assets, everything I use for this design, I'll be providing it. So you can check it in the description. So on this, I'll load and I'll use this color grid. Though I have this in one of my video, then I'll eat. Before that, I'll stick on to black and white. Then I'll just try and work on it generally. And the black, I'll increase the black a little more. But that's one of the things to just make sure. I increase the sharpening, then eat okay. So this is what we got. So we got. So the next thing I'm going to do, I want to remove. I'll convert it to this. So I want to remove this this NYSC. I'll still go. On, I'll still go to studio to go and snap the one. Kind of busy for now with a lot of things on my head. So just select. Use your lasso to select it. Then the next thing I'm going to do will come to. Our <coughs> what's the name of that to brush self? You come to our brush, you come to our brush, you pick, then you just clean, you reduce it. So you pick the distance from you and you'll be working. Just pick, or if you can just clean it like this, though, control T, but it's kind of obvious. So if it is obvious like this, this is what we are going to do. You click, select your lasso to you press filter feather you feather it to nine then feather it to nine the next thing i'm going to do is what's the name of this tool what's the name of this tool okay you can use patch tool you can use this patch tool you can use um these smog tools well let me use patch tool so that i want to show something you can take it like this it will automatically change you can see what i'm saying so ctrl d then you still select it again but that one will not be the best so this is the best now you you zoom in you select here you shift it up you zoom in shift it up just be though it will take time and patience too but if you understand it it will help very well ctrl d so take it up, take it up. So please, as you are watching, if you know you've not subscribed to my channel, please don't make me cry. Please click on that subscription bell below, please. please. So this is it. This is one of the easiest way to change some of these things. So like this, like this. Like this, click on Ctrl D. I'm just trying to play with it though. I know it may not look neat, but I'm just trying to do one or two. Ctrl D. So this is all we have. No, it's not looking real, but just manage it for the sake of the tutorial. So the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to be creating a earring for it. You come to this place, you pick your cycle to zoom it in. You, you your shift so that you can get a perfect cycle. 
then you change the color to red change the color to red 100 percent red yes yeah. set it like this so oh let's use blue blue will be better then you come to this place you draw your box like this then you change the box to red this one to red then you centralize them you, you still draw another cycle draw another cycle like this red then you select the three of them centralize them like this so you bring this red back down so that you get something like this so you now copy these three things and duplicate them how do you duplicate ctrl j click on the ctrl j to automatically delete then you take it to this other here and you shift it down a little bit and click on enter so what i'm going to do next i'm going to group this all this ctrl g change it to earring so the next thing i'm going to do is we're going to be manipulating <coughs> the head we'll select our, our picture then ctrl j to duplicate in case we do any error so you come to your lasso tool then you cut down out this head so you can just cut it anywhere you want so these are me i'm cutting my one so I, you click you press ctrl x to cut it out so the next thing you are going to do i'm going to pick up your cycle tool so you are going to be drawing cycle like this on the head so like this automatically you get something better so this is it this is what you get very very simple so without wasting our time let's just work on this we come to our gradient then we come to these basics you click on it pick your yellow your your main color just select from this click on this pick your yellow so that's it you hit okay okay so <laughs> this is it it's kind of funny though so i'll come to my this i already downloaded the png so i'll now drag it here drag it here i'll reduce it like this then i'll now turn it i'll turn it again yeah, like this then i'll reduce i'll reduce then increase like this can you just play with it just to get a perfect then i'll uh, increase increase then shift this one here a little bit then shift it down then i'll just rotate i'll rotate it like this then bring it down yeah can you just play with it to get any perfect thing so the next thing i'm going to do i'll go to convert to so i'll pick my last hat i'll come i want to remove some unwanted space so ctrl x space ctrl x so i hit okay so the next thing i'm going to do next thing i'm going to do is is what if next thing i'm going to do is to type okay i'll bring this down to this place and i'll group everything ctrl g plus ctrl g all right picks so come to this place you create a new layer then you you click g on your j on your keyboard it will now automatically calibrate gradient file then you select this color here then you hold your shift key or alt key shift key 
and you just drag it up like this. So you get but it's kind of light. Let me for a darker. I need something dark. I need something dark. I need something dark. Okay, sorry. This is the color, I think this is the color, so I just hold my shift and I'll drag it up. This thing the color. Okay, let me, let me pick from this color. So this is the color, let me double click. I'll copy this, because I, I want to get it fine. So I'll come back to it. Then my gradient, yeah, I'll paste it, it's okay. So. Control Z. Then I'll click on the G. G. Then I will my Shift key and drag it. So this is the color. This one we'll get. So I can still add it more. Let me add it more. Yeah. Get something like this. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be picking this from this design. I might just drag it. And put it yeah i already customized it so if you want you can do your own if you wish or well, advise you to do your own or well, you can do something better than this so you just anything that work for you the best so i'm going to write put all my write-ups change the color to same thing oh change my color I just pick any color, it's okay. Control is okay. Then I wasn't, I wasn't done to charm, pion, comma, I fought for it. Let all then centralize then it okay change the font to this then you drag it you can reducing and increase the space I know we are not seeing it but me I can see create the space in there we change the color to art this is it we don't we just type so if I like I reduce it a little bit Reduce it a little bit and increase the spacing in between 500. So, without wasting our time, that's it. So, the next thing I'm going to do, we'll group all this. Control G, we now put text. It's okay. So, you press your Control Shift Alt E. Control Shift Alt E. You come to your camera row. Just for the last, you can work on it. You come to your basic, increase the contrast a little bit, reduce the black, increase the texture, increase. You can increase, increase then details, increase your sharpening, effect, reduce this, and it's okay. That's it. Thank you for watching. I love you. See you next time.